Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? Hi, Sarah. Great to see you. Daisy, thank you for joining. How are you? Carmen, great to see you as well. Oscar, good, good evening. evening. Hello, guys. Hi, Adriana. Good evening. How are you? Hi. Good evening. Great to see you guys. And thanks a lot for joining. Super cool to see you today. Um, so we are on this uh, Tuesday the 7th, right? And uh, we have like kind of some activities that we need to work on today. Uh, and they include a little bit of simple past. So guys, did you have the opportunity to practice? Did you practice a little bit? Uh, did you practice the questions that we had yesterday? Margarita, good evening, great to see you. Good evening, teacher. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Carmen. I hope everything is okay. Are you feeling better? Are you feeling uh, all right? Hey, Ronald, good evening. Thank you for joining. Great good to see you. Good evening, teacher. 
How are you doing? Very good, thank you. Nice, nice to hear that. All right. So, uh, Alejandra, great to see you as well. Thank you for joining. Rachel, good evening, welcome. How are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. Hello, guys. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, and super great to see you. Okay, guys, so thanks a lot, everybody, for joining today. We are having uh, session number six, and we are going to continue working with a little bit of simple past tense. Uh, you may wonder why we have taken a lot of time in this topic, but simple past is super important because whenever we want to tell experience, an event, or something, uh, we need to give like some details. So to review that, guys, I have this question for you today. So tell me about what you did for the last 24 hours yesterday when we finished classes. Um, which activities did you do after the classes? What did you do today morning? What did you do today afternoon, guys? Don't tell me I took a shower. I had breakfast because that is for everybody. So tell me something that you think you only did, right? something that is like an activity that you normally do or you did today. So guys, tell me about the last 24 hours. What did you do? Yesterday after classes, what did you do? Yes, teacher. Yes, Sarah, what did you do? Um, um, in the morning, um, I went in the hospital and um no sé cómo decirlo un examen you have a check out uh, as a check out and yes in the the afternoon uh, i went to the office the my office okay so in the morning you went to the hospital and in the afternoon you went to your office okay so yes Oh, yes, okay. Yes, okay. Nice. Sounds all right. Uh, thank you for sharing that. What about yesterday night? What did you do, Sarah? What did you do yesterday after classes? Yesterday in the night. Yes. Yesterday night, yesterday after classes, what did you do? <laughs> okay, after, 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 when we finished classes, what did you do? Finish class. Hmm? What did you do after classes? Did you watch a movie? Did you see your, I don't know, did you talk to your friends? Did you talk to your family? What did you do? Ah, okay, it's, it's, it's leaving. Okay, mm -hmm. so you just left, okay, you went to bed. Ingrid, good evening, Jose Luis, great to see you guys. Consuelo, hello, great to see you. Thank you for joining. Okay, so you went to it, sounds all right. Guys, what about the rest of you? What did you do in the last 24 hours? Ronald, what did you do in the last 24 hours? Mm, yesterday, mm -hmm. I finished my work at six o'clock. Yesterday. I okay, you and finished at six. I, mm -hmm. I went to my house. When my to my house. Uh, right now, are you in your house? Uh, 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 yesterday, yesterday. Okay, yesterday, yesterday. all right. Okay, uh, yeah, when, when, when my house, is, I sleep. Mm -hmm. Salí clareado, salí clareado del trabajo. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Oh, really? How long did you work? ¿Cuántas horas trabajó? How long did you work? Uh, eight hours. Okay, eight hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sí. But it was yeah. too much. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
Ajá, de 10 del día domingo, de la noche a las 6 de ayer. Ajá. Oh, I got Ajá. it. So you y... were on Sunday, Sunday night? And... Yes. Ok, Monday morning. Wow. Uh -huh. Ok, sí. I got it. Y el viaje estaba largo, como vengo de te, una frontera. Where, where, do you, where do you work? Eh, I work en la aduana. Oh, ok. Ok. So you work in customs. Uh, okay. So, do you go to the border? Tiene que ir a la frontera. Do you need to go to the border? Yes, yes. one uh -huh. week. Oh, ok. And uh -huh. this week? Es libre. Oh, so you, you work one week and you have one week off. Okay, yes. Like, trabaja una yes. semana y una semana libre. So Así you work es. a week Así es. and one week off. Oh, Así es. okay. Yes. Oh, good. Good to know. One week off. Oh, but, but that is amazing. <laughs> that is really good. So, tiene, okay. Tiene toda la semana, Ronald. That's nice. <laughs> so like like an extra vacation i guess that sounds okay. amazing okay yes. cool cool uh anybody else guys que nos quiere contar who wants to tell us about your last 24 hours consuelo adriana carmen tell us about your 24 hours rachel yes i'm mejor are you feeling better now are you okay Yes, teacher, I felt better than yesterday. Oh, A little, but it's, it's nice. Yes, I, I, I work, no, I talk a lot. Oh, and, and, your, and your sore throat, <laughs> is your sore throat better? Is your cold better? Or your yes, cough? yes. Okay, good yes, to hear. You, yeah, teacher. and your voice actually, yes, when I come on, mas, mas clara, your voice yes. sounds a little yes, clearer. Teacher. I'm great to, okay, I'm glad to hear that because it's you. horrible, especially con este clima, right? With this weather. So it's really yes. bad. Okay, okay, guys, nice, nice, nice. So, um, Monday, well, yesterday, last Friday, guys. Eh, para quienes no habían podido acompañarnos, eh, hemos estado revisando un poquito de simple past tense. Um, we have been checking some verbs, especially irregular verbs. Today vamos a hacer ya la introducción, well, probably not the introduction porque ustedes ya los vieron, but eh, vamos a revisar un poquito de irregular verbs pronunciation as well. Solamente para hacer un, uh, un breve uh, review here, just to make a little review. Ayer habían un par de preguntitas que íbamos solo como um, a contestar, right, con sus propias palabras, um, to try to intentar encontrar el sentido a, a qué es lo que contamos, etc. So, uh, let me just get started with these irregular verbs, solo para un recordatorio, just like a recap. Uh, help me, guys, con los pasados de este verbo. So, help me with the past uh of the verbs that we have right here so let me see let me see let me get started with oscar oscar what is the pass for no no very good and have oscar no it's new yes and have Mm. I don't remember. <laughs> no worries, guys. Who wants to help Oscar? What is the pass of have? Have. have. There you go. Amazing. Thank you. Ale, what is the pass for give? This one, give. Uh, it's gave. Yeah, very good. That is gave. And the pass for go? When? when? When there we go. Okay, Sarah, what about eat? Uh, eight. Like the number, right? Like the number, yeah, eight. And drink, eight. Sarah? Yeah, drunk. There you go. Okay, drive? Drive, drove. Yes, there you go. Very nice. Ronald, what is the past of? Give me one second. What is the past for field? I don't remember. Uh, okay, okay, 
okay, that's, okay, perfect. There we go. Real so good. failed. Thank, Thank you. you. What about fly, Ronald? Do you remember fly? Mm, fly, fly. Flew. Yeah, okay. Flew. Yeah, yeah, flew. Yeah. All right. There we go. Nice. Thank you. And uh, Margarita, what is the best for the foil? Feel, 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 feel or feel. Feel. There you go. Feel. feel. What okay. about forget? Forget. Forgot it. Forgot. forgot. Perfect. Okay. Forgot, forgot it is okay. Uh, forgot it like you already put the it there nice that uh, sounds good um let me see consuelo help us please what is the password make make uh, this one make met recuerdes de las tacitas remember the cups donde dice in 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 china <laughs> so what is ah, the okay. it's word? Made. Oh, there you go. Very <laughs> nice. Exactly. So normally, right, lo leemos como made in, made in China. But now we know that is made in. So that is made in China. Very good. Uh, okay. So Consuelo, what's the best of meat? Meat. This meat. Yes, meat. Meat. Thank you very much. There you go. Daisy, what's the best for food? Put the most difficult. Put. Put. <laughs> yeah, very nice. What about read? What's the password read? Red. Red, exactly. Like the color. And people, what is the password? Send. The last verb. What is send? Send. 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 Perfect. Very good. So today, guys, les voy a dar los 10 verbos adicionales. Para que ya llevemos 30, right? So far, tenemos solamente 20, but we're going to start working too como un par de verbos regular, regulares as well. Now, um, guys, eh, solamente recuerdenme, please, remind me, porque no sé si lo estoy tomando por granted. Eh, ¿Ya vieron pasados antes? Did you check pass already? ¿O esa es la primera vez que vemos pasados? ¿Te recuerdas? Módulo anterior. Okay. Algo de los... Yes, sí, super, super then. Ok, nice, nice. Yeah, because I don't, I don't want to take it for granted. Ok. So, in English, tenemos verbos basados en la pronunciación. Eh, los que acabamos de ver are called irregular verbs. Porque cambian, right? If I say forget, forgot. Send, sent. Feel, felt. Sleep, slept. No hay una regla for them. But we have regular verbs. Y ellos sí tienen reglas. So, ¿cómo los distingo? Well, no podemos. La única forma es memorizarlos, guys. You need to memorize. Yes, we need to memorize verbs. De otra manera, no voy a saber si le puedo agregar ed o no le puedo agregar ed. So, regular verbs, normally, they go with the ed form. A todos les vamos a agregar ed. But of course, necesito memorizarme primero a cuáles o cuáles son regular verbs. So, for example, I have this word that is wash. The past is washed. So, lo van a ver like this, washed, right? I have, for example, this one, clean. Y van a ver de repente que le hemos agregado ed. Oh, eso es pasado. This is past. So, washed, cleaned. Okay, I have, for example, fixed. I fixed my car. Oh, yesterday I fixed my car. Oh, this is best. All right. I have, for example, um, the verb open. Oh, the my favorite store opened yesterday super early. So washed, cleaned, fixed, opened. Okay, um, I have, for example, travel. I traveled to Guatemala last year. Okay, so traveled. Ya vamos a practicar los guys, but I just wanna uh, go over the, the general pronunciation for these verbs. So we have, for example, work. Oh, I worked all day long. I worked 
yesterday. I worked a lot. I have steady. Oh, steady. Va a sufrir un pequeño cambio uh, porque termina con Y. So the past is going to be studied. I studied. Okay, guys. So, repitan conmigo, please. Repeat with me. Van a escuchar que al final de este verbo yo no digo washed porque la pronunciación va a cambiar un poquito. So, intentemos hacer el mismo sonido que yo hago, ¿ok? So, the first one is washed. Wash. 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 One more time. Wash. 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 There Wash. you go. Uh, no sé quién lo dijo. I don't know who did it, but that was a perfect T sound. Eh, Jose Luis, can you repeat it? Wash. Perfect. There we go. Exactly. So, Wow. Es como bien suave. Wash. Wash. Okay. Wash. 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 Corten el sonido al final. So, wash. Okay. Wash. Wash. Yes. Yes. There you go. Exactly. So, at the beginning, como no lo tenemos en Spanish, vamos a tener que agregárselo, you know? Like, hasta que salga. So, wash. 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 Yes, there you go, Oscar. Very nice. Ale, good job. There you go. Okay, cool. Let's go with the second verb. So, again, uh, repeat with me and intentemos hacer el sonido. Cleaned. 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 There you go. Okay, there you go. Nice, nice. Let's go with the next one. Fix. 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 You got it, guys. Amazing. I like it. Fix. Okay, very good. Next one. Opened. 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 Open. 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 Okay. Okay. Open. Right now, of course, estoy exagerando Open. un poquito el sonido. I'm exaggerating the sounds a little Open. bit. But of course, later, ya lo van a escuchar. Open. Or we are going to practice them as well. Next one, guys. Uh, traveled. 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 Travel. 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 Okay, digámoslo normal. Travel. 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 Okay, ahora agreguémosle un sonido de b, b. Travel. Travel. There you go. There you go. Exactly. No, it's not like travel, right? But travel. Travel. Okay, como se lo detengo. Very nice. Let's go. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot the ED. Let's go with the next one. Word. Word. Work. 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 Study. Study. Very good. Okay. Guys, que noten. What do you notice? What do you see here? ¿Qué pasó con los sonidos? What happened with the sounds? Change. They change. Yeah, they change. But no leo LD, right? I didn't read it like wash it or clean it. No. Because in English, hay tres sonidos. There are three different sounds. El único o los únicos que van a sonar como ed o ev son los que terminan con t en presente. For example, want, a este sí le agrego sin pena, ed, wanted. Ok, wanted, wanted, that is ok. Need, for example, need, neither. So le voy a agregar el sonido completo del ed. Wanted, neither. I have... Las que terminan, the ones that finish in T or in D. Mm -hmm. 
cuando ese es el, el último sonido, la última letra, sí le puedo agregar el sonido completo. For example, I want to tell you. Ayer esperé por usted. So yesterday, no le puedo decir yesterday I wait. Porque es like cuando digo español. Cuando I los wait. niños comenzamos a hablar, right? Y decimos, voy a ir ayer. No tendría sentido. So I wait, lo cambio pasado. El pasado, uh, sorry, the past, es con ed. I waited, or la T muchas veces la puedo cambiar por una R. I waited. I waited for you. I waited. I waited for you. So, okay. los que terminan con T o con D, sí les puedo agregar el sonido ed. Waited, wanted, needed. Uh, for example, delete, delete, delete. Like oh, deleted, sin penas lo voy a agregar, pero al resto de verbos no le puedo agregar washed, no, no sonaría bien, open it, uh, mm -mm. work it, no, I worked, I studied, I traveled, I opened, I cleaned, and there you go, okay, so, Uh, now, vamos a revisar un poquito qué pasó con estos sonidos. Uh, at the first one, wash, ¿cuál fue el sonido que le agregamos, guys? What was the sound? Letter T. Yeah, that was exactly a T sound. So I washed. Okay, ¿a cuál otro le agregamos un sonido de T? Le agregamos a fixed. A fixed. Very good. Se lo agregamos también a word. Exactly. Word. So, washed, fixed, word. There you go. That's the one. So, no es que le vamos a agregar la letra, sino un sonidito at the end, right? No cambiamos nada, solo le agregamos that little sound. Now, ¿qué pasó con este? That one fue un poquito diferente. Le agregamos un sonidito como ed, right? Cleaned, opened, traveled. Studied. That is the way. So, normally, son tres pronunciaciones para verbos regulares. For regular verbs, uh, this is the normal pronunciation we have. Y todos terminan con ed. Es lo que ha cambiado. Oh, just pronunciation. Pretty much, that is the one, right? That is the pronunciation that is different. People, pregunten. Ask questions, please. No questions, no doubts. Hello. Creo que alguien me dejó el micro abierto. Yes, tell me, Ingrid. In the case of verb finish, what is the pronunciation, teacher? In, in past. Uh, okay, that is a very good question. What happens with the verb finish? Okay. So uh, let's take a look here, the finish. It's a very good one, finish. Okay, so primero revisemos si le puedo agregar ed como tal, right? Uh, so, termina con te o con de, mm -mm. no puedo decir finish it. Uh, no se puede. Entonces, puede ser solo una de esas dos pronunciaciones. Y le voy a dar un pequeño tip. Yo sé que le pronuncio o le agrego una t, cuando tocan su garganta y no sienten vibración. So, vamos a hacer un ejercicio super quick. Uh, digan finish y el último sonido, toquen la garganta y me dicen si sienten como que vibra un poquito su garganta. So, finish. 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 ¿Vibra? ¿Vibra un poquito? ¿Does it vibrate? No. 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 Cuando no hay vibración, when there is no vibration, le agregamos el sonido de la T. So finished. Oh, I finished. 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 Yes, there you go. Finished. 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 Yes, perfect, Oscar. Very nice job. Exactly. So I finished. All right. So le agregamos el sonido de la T. So, ese es un gran tip. For example, here, wash. Lo mismo. Si toca en la garganta, wash. No hay vibración. So, los pasados van con, la, con el sonido de t, washed. Uh, clean. Uh, si vibra. Clean. No le puedo agregar una t. Okay. Fix. No vibra. Le agrego una t. 
So, pretty much, esa es como la regla para saber cuál es el sonido final uh, of a regular bird. Pero again, me debo de memorizar los verbos. Eh, no sé si responde su pregunta. Does it answer your question? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Amazing. Perfect. Perfect. Guys, más preguntas, questions, doubts. Would you like to, to repeat them again? ¿Les gustaría repetirlos otra vez? Would you like them to repeat them again? Or shall we practice more? O vamos con más verbos. Uh, guys, intentemos hacerlo. Let's try to do it on your own, okay? And then we, you tell me. So, um, okay. I'm gonna include a couple of common verbs. Y ustedes me ayudan con el sonido final. So what will be the test of this verb? Solamente recordemos, just remember, avoid, hate, like, love, um, map, um, let me think, cook, and I think that is okay. I think this is a very good list. Okay, guys, so uh, help me with the birds. ¿Cuál sería el pasado de esos verbos? First, in the spelling is only D. Oh, voy a duplicar acá, E, D. Y D, uh, D, 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 duplico porque tiene consonante vocal consonante, and then E, D. Spelling is super easy. So, ahora, ¿qué pasa con el sonido? What happens with the sound? Guys, eh, les voy a dar two minutes. I'm going to give you one, two minutes. All right. Uh, para que ustedes intenten encontrar, so you can find what is the correct pronunciation. Solo recordemos lo siguiente. Le digo R. A los que terminan con T or D en presente. Wanted, needed, waited, deleted. Eso es como lo único donde voy a agregarle el, ¿ok? De lo contrario, reviso. ¿Vibra o no vibra? Pretty much, eso es todo. ¿Is that okay? ¿Is that fine? ¿Clear? ¿Not clear? <laughs> okay, I'll give you two minutes, guys. Si tienen dudas, me avisan, let me know, y lo revisamos together, no problem. So I'll give you two minutes. Yes, Miss. In el caso de borrar, es terrorista. In the case of delete, lo que sucede es que no es tanto el, la letra, right? Mm -hmm. Sino es el sonido. So if you check, for example, here, Uh, si yo tengo wait, pues sí, es el último, la última letra en la T, right? So wait, wait. ¿Qué pasa con el sonido de delete? Um, delete, no pronunciamos la E, actually. Cuando usted eh, lee esa palabra es delete. El último sonido fue una T. La E es muda. Por eso es que solamente cuando eh, consideramos la palabra delete, Uh, consideramos solo el último sonido, que es una T. So that's why le agregamos la palabra completa o la sílaba completa, que es R. Delete R. That's why. Mm -hmm. You are so welcome. <coughs> One more minute, guys. Uh, please, guys, if you do this, questions, doubts, something that is not clear, let me know and we'll check that again. No problem.
Uh, okay, guys, are you ready? Do you need more time? Do you have the answer? Yes, teacher. Okay, so if you prefer, let's check together, okay, and then we can practice a little bit. So, I'll give me one sec here. Okay, my, my light is kind of weird. One second. Okay. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at what we have here. So the first one, uh, arrive. What would be the past for this verb? What do you have? Arrived. Very good. So that goes with a D, right? Stop. Yes. This would be a T sound, Stop. right? T. Mm -hmm. T. Avoid. Oh, avoid them, D. right? Avoid. Avoid them. Hate, pero el último sonido es una T, so hate. So we just include the full sound. Like, what about like? Light. Perfect, light. light. Okay, love. Oh, I love you. What about this one? Love. Yes, nice. I loved you. Mop. Love. Mop. Mop. Perfect. Mop. What is the What is the meaning, by the way? What is the meaning of mop? Trapear. Mm -hmm. Trapear, very good. And what about cook? Cook. cook. Ay, perfect, guys, you got cook. it. Okay, amazing, you got it. So good. let's just uh, practice them together and then we go for the uh, reading. We have to, for the exercise, we have to. All right. So repeat with me, please. Arrived. 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 Stopped. 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 Avoid, avoid it, sorry. Avoid it, avoid, avoid, it. avoid, it. avoid it. Hated. 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 Light. 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 Loved. 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 Mopped. 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 Cooked. Mopped. Cooked. 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 Exactly, that is cooked. the one, cooked. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, nice, nice. That sounds amazing. Okay, I have just one more exercise for you. Uh, aparte de las preguntas que vamos a revisar, the little homework we have. And this is the one, okay? Uh, in the previous class, we tried to tell a story, okay? Now, guys, we are going to try to make a story on our own, all right? Vamos a intentar crear una historia. We're going to try to make this story um, in groups of three. So, you know, para que todos participen, so everybody can participate and we can have, like, more practice here. So, um, we have, like, these um, Ford pictures que vamos a intentar poner en una historia, we're going to try to put or make a story. Everything goes in past, right? Todos los verbos, guys, everything has to be past. We have here a picture of an accident, some gardening tools, a person running, and a person in the supermarket. What's the story? So you can make a horror story, a romantic story. You can make an adventure. You can make whatever you want, all right? We have like 10 minutes to make it. Solo le voy a pedir, guys, que no le hagan solos. Don't do it on your own. La idea es trabajar juntos. So work together. Talk to each other. Háblense. Pueden compartir pantalla. La van escribiendo. Whatever you prefer. Okay. But the idea is to share ideas together. So, guys, le pueden tomar picture. And tenemos 10 minutes. You have 10 minutes to make this story in, in groups. And then I'm going to choose one person. Then vamos a tener un par de voluntarios. Guys, let's go. Vámonos. You got 10 minutes only. So go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Guys, si se quedaron fuera, no le pudieron dar like y están en el teléfono, remember que su teléfono tiene la opción por acá. Hay un cuadrito que dice grupo reducido. Le da clic, entra y ya eso es todo. 
Y yo en the computer, les va a aparecer en el menú de abajo, grupo reducido. De igual forma, le dan clic, or break a rooms, le dan clic y entran. So no worries. Vámonos, guys. Hi, Ivania. Good evening. Thank you for joining. So, me falta Carmen. I'm missing House Luis. Oscar is gone. Sarah is gone. Okay. Amazing. 10 minutes, guys.
I went. Uh -huh. However, I went your sister. To... No. However, your your sin embargo, your sister. Yo fui. Es que está hablando de Nat, mi, mi hermano, porque, my brother. Yes, ¿Cómo va pero a poner la, su sister? Porque eso se supone que la hermana va a, a comprar los medicamentos. Sí, pero mire, póngale lógica. Estamos hablando de my brother was running for his él se competition. Quebró. Es correcto. No, se my quebró. brother, my brother. ¿Cómo voy a poner su hermana si estoy hablando de mi hermano? Sí, sería que yo le compro las medicinas. Ajá, por, por eso lo estoy diciendo. Ah, ok. However, póngale coco ahí, pues no se me duerma. However, me pidiendo, however. Compañero. However, estamos, I went. Estamos aprendiendo, compañero. <risa> however, sí, compañero. however, I went to drugstore, to the drugstore, to the drug store. Sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. I went to the drugstore and I bought, bought, compré, and I bought, bought medication, o no sé, pill, pill, creo que es pastillas, ¿verdad? Pill. Yeah, you can say pills or some medicine. Hi. Oh. Hi. <laughs> yeah, some pills or some medicine, it's okay. Medicine, okay, about med medicine. Okay. Teacher. Hello. ¿Cómo se pronuncia saludable? Healthy. Healthy. Mm -hmm. Uh, I say healthy. you have healthily. 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 Uh -huh. healthily. Mm. healthily. I, I gotta be super honest with you. I haven't seen that word in a long time. So just let me make sure. Healthily. 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 To eat healthy. healthy. I would say to eat healthy food instead of healthily. But, but oh yeah, but yeah, that works. To eat healthily. Maria bought some seeds to plant her garden to eat healthily. She was running in the morning and saw an accident. Okay. Oh, but we are missing one picture, right? Nos falta todavía. Is that teacher? Sad. And sad, así es. Uh, she was running in the morning and saw an accident. That one. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Eh? So, uh, so. 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 Oh, okay. So. A highlight. So. Uh, Semillas? So, seed. So, Maria bought seed. seed. Mm -hmm. Seeds. Seeds. C -S -D -S. Seeds. Yeah. Maria bought seeds to plant her garden to eat healthily. She was running in the morning and saw an accident. I really like this one, but, pero siento que hay algo que nos falta como conectar, right? Something is missing, like a connection is missing here. Because uh, uh, it says that compró semillas para hacer un jardín. Ella estaba corriendo y vio un accidente. But solamente encontramos como cuál es la conexión entre que compró las semillas and, uh, y, y vio un accidente, mm -hmm. right? Uh -huh. So like, they used to mm -hmm. connect it all. So I don't know. Uh, tiró las semillas and if I or I, I don't know. So we can make up something else. Podemos Aquí, conectarle. Ahí dice okay. que María compró semillas para sembrarlas en su jardín, mm -hmm. plantarlas en jardín mm -hmm. y comer saludable. Dice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, ¿cuál sería la conexión con la siguiente oración? That says she was running in the morning and so an accident. Ah, hay punto. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but the, the, Pausa, era otro Pausa. día. Uh -huh. Era otro día. Okay. Oh, but, but probably, okay. probably acá se podemos decir, I don't know. So, ella comenzó también a hacer ejercicio para ser más saludable, I don't know. And uh, in, that, uh, in that moment, vio un accidente, ayudó en, I don't know. Y como, I don't 
don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the idea is just to connect. I don't know. <laughs> but you know. Puntos suspensorios. No, but you can make up something better. That is a really good idea. Solo encontremos algo para conectarles. You can use some expressions like um, later, then, right? Uh, you can use some expressions like also, uh, later, after that, so the idea is to, to connect. So, intentemos conectar las ideas, but very good job. Okay. Very cool. See you in a moment, guys. Let me uh, plan. Planto de inmediato. Plantar es plan, planto. Planto, okay. Dice planto, uh, I plant immediately. Okay. Okay, chicas. Algo que algo que quieran modificar en la historia. Y encontró un tesoro y se hizo millonario. Ah, muy bien. Poner emoción. I love it. I love that one. Encontró un tesoro y se hizo millonario. Okay. Bueno, ahorita les leo un segundito. Encontrar, ¿cómo se dice? Encontrar. Found. 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 One morning, Maria start, uh, started uh -huh. uh, her day and um, went for a uh, run. Uh, then uh, she went to the supermarket and bought flower plants. He found a terrible accident on the way back. Um, when he got home, she immediately planted, planted. How do we say this, chicas? Planted. 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 Sí, porque también es verdad. He purchased and found a treasure. And become become a millionaire. 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 <laughs> I love that story. I wanna be her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Me too. This is an amazing story, actually. I really like it. Okay. So 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 to Televisa. <laughs> Ready to, la Televisa. ready to be part of a soap opera, yeah, or, or Telesur. I, I like, no, yeah, right, Telemundo. Telesur. Telemundo. <laughs> this is a it's really better, nice story. Okay. Now, and, and very good job. Um, sorry about that. Very good job with the past tenses, like planted, started, bought, found. Very good job with verbs as well. Nice, I like that story. Okay. Y ya incorporaron todas las pictures, right? Ya tienen todas las fotos. You already have all the pictures. Yes. Yes. Teacher. Amazing, amazing. Sounds good. Okay, I think it is about time. So give me one second and let's go back. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for coming back. So give me one second. I'm missing one group. Okay, I'm still missing a group. So uh, guys, how was your practice? Uh, to be honest, algunas historias están super interesantes. They are like very interesting. So some of them have like, uh, tienen como un twist. 
Um, so escuché algunas con un amazing ending, you know. Um, and so, guys, let's go ahead and listen to your stories. Um, so, group, vamos en orden, you know, according to the rooms. Uh, room number one. So, room number one, that is Ceci, Daisy, Ingrid, and Jose Luis. Ingrid, can you tell us the story, please? Yeah, is Ingrid here? Ingrid. Okay. <laughs> okay, mi pronunciación no es tan buena. Pero no, no mi es tranquila, que no se preocupe. You go and y le ayudamos, no worries. Okay, entonces todos mis compañeros eh, hicimos esto. Dice, my brother mm -hmm. was running for his compet competition and then he fell and broke and, and broke his leg in the farm. However, I went to the drugstore and about medicine, que no sé cómo se dice. Medicine, for, yes, medicine. Medicine for him. Okay. And, and that's it. And that is the ending. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, so um, it was her sister, you say, or her, her sister, right? My brother. <laughs> oh, that was your brother. Okay. Okay, let me just take a look. Oh yeah, so there was your brother. Okay, and, and you got some medicine for him. Okay, cool, sounds like, all right. I like the story, like muy bien ordenada, like very clear and very organized. Okay, thank you guys, thank you so much. Let's go with group number two. Erika, Margarita, and Ronald. So, Ronald, let's listen to you. Me ha escuchado su voz estos días. So let me listen. Let us listen to you. <laughs> okay. Marie bought seed plant her garden mm -hmm. to eat healthily. Mm -hmm. Healthily. Mm -hmm. Your your brother or oh, your cousin, your cousin running in the morning and saw an accident. Only this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for like, uh, okay, what happened now? <laughs> okay, okay, that was all right. So that person saw an accident. Thank you, Ronald. That sounds already. Um, let's go with group number three, Adriana, Ivania, and Rachel. Oh, girls, you have a very nice ending. <laughs> okay, uh, so Ivania, can you tell us the story, please? Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, teacher, sorry. No worries, you're fine. Or maybe if the other girls can help us, so Adriana or Rachel, uh, mientras you get ready, that, that's all right. Hello. Hello. Hi, Adri. Tell us, please. Help us. Mm. Uh, on a day, Maria started her day and well for a run. Then she went to the two day supermarket and found a turtle accident. And she bought flower plants. She found a um, travesture. She became a millionaire. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so your story was really interesting because that was like a happy ending, right? At the end, 
uh, the person became a millionaire. So amazing. I want to be her. <laughs> Thanks for that. And let's go with the last group. I'm just going to steal one minute, guys. Um, Oscar, can you tell us the story, please? Okay, this is a really story. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> this morning on the way to work, Consuelo almost had an accident in a hammer run. But oh. fortunately, she break it in times. Oh. And, and it was just this scared. Oh, is that for real? Yeah. Oh, Consuelo, Consuelo, really? Were you about to have an accident? Yeah. Oh, that was bad. Okay. But I hope Consuelo is okay. I don't know where Consuelo is. Okay. Okay, guys. Amazing. Thanks a lot for sharing your stories. They are like pretty cool. And uh, eh, tenemos todavía pendiente las preguntas that we had from yesterday. So las vamos a discutir hasta el día de mañana. Just a little reminder. These are the questions. Tell me about your last vacation. What did you do for the last birthday? Who was your first crush? Uh, what was your the last really difficult thing you had to do? And what do you eat for your last meal, right? Uh, so, guys, um, si no les quedó tiempo para revisarlos el día de ahora, please check them, okay? Try to answer them on your own. Y les compartimos el día de mañana. Gracias a quienes ya avanzaron con la plataforma 2, a quienes están en la unidad 3, 4, y quienes ya terminaron. So, very good job. Gracias, guys, for being here. Nos vemos el día de mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good time. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. 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 Bye, b